is time for Drew's News, and with me at the desk, every person's dream pilot, Ross Matthews. Yes, hi everybody. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. I said girl once, and then I was like, no, it just has to be person. Every person on the planet. If you're alive, you want Ross. Period. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I do. Oh. Um, okay, first up, we know weddings cost a pretty penny. Oh my God. And we found one interesting way to attack that bill. Now, I, I found this story quite controversial. Okay, go. <laughs> so Newsweek reports that a person on Reddit says their friend Katie is a bride-to-be, and she recently told her friends that she'd be sending around her Venmo account so that they could, quote-unquote, chip in mm -hmm. for the wedding costs. Mm -hmm. Ross? Yes? Thoughts? You're about to get married? I am, and Katie, girl, I feel your pain. This Venmo, I, I'm about to pass around a bucket here in the audience <laughs> collection. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I, I, we're not, I, I thought to myself, when I first found out how much the flowers were for a wedding, can I hold a bake sale to raise funds? <laughs> I see flowers on the side of the road. You want to charge me what? It is shocking how much these things are. So, Katie, get your friends to all chip in. Genius, Katie, genius. I wonder if she could pose it like as the wedding registry. Like, is there something a little kind of strange about Venmo and a wedding? Like, what if, it, it, like a registry, like if you put in, this would buy a bouquet of flowers at table eight. You know, I think sometimes people need to know where their money is going. If you put your money in, it will provide this at this beautiful ceremony. I think that's lovely, but give me cold, hard cash, all right? Thank you so much. I'm kidding, sort of. All right, hey, next up, we got a money-saving tip. Should we put your Venmo at a lower third? <laughs> on? No. I mean, I'm kidding. I don't really want to help, but I don't want to shame Katie, her friend, for doing this. And I don't want to shame Katie either. I just, if I was your friend, I would just want to know that I was purchasing a certain something. Understood. How about, how about your chicken dinner at my wedding? How about that's what you're purchasing? <laughs> All right, next up, we've got a money-saving tip all the way from Japan. Ooh. Yeah, and it, we've got spring cleaning here, right? You always hear people saying that. But in Japan, apparently, they love a good end-of-the-year scrub. They call it osoji. And Real Simple reports for a natural and cheap household cleaner, you know what they use? An orange. It's true, this is a tip from the book Simplicity at Home by Yumiko Sekine, all about Japanese cleaning techniques. Step one, get an orange and then eat it. <laughs> Step two, <laughs> save the peel, boil the peel in water, let it simmer for like 15 minutes and you've got a cleaner for the kitchen or any surface. Look, right here, we have one here, that's yours. Here. Um, there's an inner piece that comes with cleaning. Oh, a postcard. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, this this is my happy place. And I feel like there's really only so many things that we can control in life. Sure, look so at her. So cleaning is something that also is within your control to make hmm. something clean and not a mess. Hmm. Like messes affect your emotions. Hey look Drew, orange you glad I cleaned the desk? By the way, <laughs> this smells incredible. <laughs> Stupid. Woo! Oh. Woo! Okay, next up, we get a little pep in our step every time we save money, and I can be riding high on a good promo code for days, and Vice reports that the public library is tapping into this. With new receipts that show you how much that you have saved by borrowing books instead of buying them. Oh, they're keeping track of that, They huh? track all the books that you've taken out in a year, calculate how much they paid for them, brand new and show you the total amount that you've saved in the year or in your lifetime wow. of borrowing. And it can be up to tens of thousands over the course of the lifetime. So this is amazing. Yeah, do you go to the library? My mom always checked out books at the library, but I, have I haven't been. I with my library. I just, I checked out like a bestseller and forgot to return it and I got a bunch of late fees. They were very cross with me. And I I know them. Like I go in there in person and like talk with them and yeah, they were they they, they were disappointed in me. Oh God, that's the no, worst. Not They're in a mean way. What did they say to you? Just glad it's back. <laughs> How late were you returning it? Like four weeks. Well, now that's fair. Come on, life gets in the way. I don't go to the library for that very reason. Clap of hands, who goes to the library in the audience? Really? Oh, let me 
makes me so happy. Well, Aww. apparently you are doing a very fiscally responsible move. And I also just like love that shared scent and, you know, the tactile knowing that like yeah. other people have gone on this adventure too. I don't feel that way when I sit in an airplane seat. I'm not like, ooh, all the people. I'm more yeah. like, but a library book, I'm like, <laughs> you're in mm, it. We all did this together.